Thank you for coming to our screencast. My name is Dixon. Docker is a tool to deploy bundled applications using Linux containers. We're going to install the Docker toolbox for the Mac to prepare for data science work. Look to the links in the description or on the screen and find the link for the Docker toolbox. Choose the package file for the Mac. We'll come back when the download's complete. Okay, the Docker toolbox has been downloaded. Included in the download is the VirtualBox program, so there's no need to download VirtualBox separately. Let's click on the download and start the installation. You'll have to type in your uh, password. Okay, that's done. For our Docker work, we're going to use the Mac Terminal program. So we generally won't use these included uh, Docker programs. Go ahead and click Continue. And our installation is complete. Before we start running the Docker Toolbox, I'm going to run the VirtualBox application from the Spotlight and check that VirtualBox is running the latest version. Sure enough, we need a, a new version 5.1.8. Let's go ahead and click the link provided and download the latest version. Now the first thing the VirtualBox installer will ask is to make sure VirtualBox itself is not running during the install. So let's uh, switch to the VirtualBox application and quit it. I use the Alt Tab key to uh, get to that icon and we're going to quit we're opening the folder and we'll go ahead and double click the uh, package file to start the installation notice the uninstaller script to the bottom right icon and the folder in case you need to remove VirtualBox in the future by the way, I use the command spacebar hotkey combination to bring up that spotlight command. Okay, type in your password. Okay, we have the latest version of VirtualBox and we're ready to set up our Docker work environment. Okay, I'm going to hit a my command spacebar, I like doing this, and I'm going to bring up a terminal. Okay, we've got a terminal running, and let's go and check and make sure that our commands are ready to run. Which Docker? Uh, we've got our Docker command and use a local bin as a symlink, but before we can run our Docker commands to run our containers, we're going to run a program called Docker Machine. Docker machine is going to set up our virtual machines where our Docker containers will run. Let's do a quick look at what we can do the Docker machine command. We'll be doing these commands. We'll be running our create. We're going to create a machine. That's where our Docker containers will run. That's going to run in virtual box. And we're going to stop it. We're going to stop it because we're going to go ahead and change the parameters of the virtual machine to give us a little bit more RAM. And we're going to start it again. When we start it, we'll see that we need to run this environment command up here, which is going to display the environments for the Docker client. So let's go ahead and do those four commands. We're going to do our Docker machine create. We're going to put in the name of the machine here. And they recommend in the tutorials using a machine called default. And Docker itself needs to know that it's going to be using VirtualBox as the place where it's going to be running the containers in the virtual machine. So let's get that going. Notice here that it's saying that there is this downloading going on because it found that mine was out of date. So that might happen to you too.
So what's going on right now is we're creating a virtual box virtual machine and the way we can look at that is we can actually start virtual box itself and we can see here it is this machine running so this is the virtual box program it's the manager let's go back to our terminal so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back to that manager in a moment All right, we're all set up. If we look here, this is the virtual machine that was created by the Docker machine command. So the Docker machine command ran and it created a virtual box. But look at that. The base memory on this is only 1,000 megs. This is one gigabyte. We need more than that. So we're going to go in and stop our machine first. So there's our Docker machine command. We're going to run the stop and on the named instance default. So you should see this here stop in just a moment. That's pretty cool. There you go. All right, so Docker Machine went ahead and stopped the virtual machine from running. So now that we're here, and you can only do this when the virtual machine is stopped, we're going to click on Settings. You can't change these while it's running. And here's the proof. This is the Linux box that's running in the virtual machine on this Mac. So in that one, we're going to go ahead and take it's got 16 gigs of RAM. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some a good amount of memory. And I want to go ahead and make sure there's some RAM for our video as well. So we'll do that. And we're okay. But before we do that, we're going to be running uh, NAT, which means that IP addresses are going to come from the virtual machine for the containers. And we'll talk about that shortly. But we're good to go here. Let's go back here. Now we'll run our third command, which is we're going to run Docker start. So in order we created the machine and we told it to, that the driver was going to be VirtualBox. We stopped it so we could get some good resources and now let's go ahead and start it again. And sure enough we'll go back here and that's running immediately and it's going to be waiting for an IP address. So let's see it. Get an IP address. When this finishes, it's going to have a little hint um, program, run this program. We're going to run the program, uh, Docker Machine. And this is the fourth command. It's the ENV. It's going to tell us the environment variables that are for the Docker client. And sure enough, here it is. Go ahead and run this Docker Machine, it says. So let's do that. Docker Machine ENV is going to give us oops, for our machine is going to say look at these variables that we're running the TLS is going to be let's set a one here's our IP address this is what we cared about this is the internal address inside this Mac when we want to go to the containers that are running inside the virtual machine which is running here that's where it's going to find it this is telling us that there's a hidden directory called dot docker and in there it's finding under machine machines default that's where it's finding the uh, default. So now at the bottom it's saying go ahead and run this command to configure your shell. The shell it's talking about is this very shell that we're using right here. A little copy pasta. Let's go ahead and run that. Okay now that we've run that we can now run the actual Docker commands. Let's run Docker itself and here are the different things that we're going to be doing throughout our data science which is figuring out how we can run Docker commands to run our data science tools. So we'll do a quick docker ps, which is, we use this a lot. This is going to list our containers. Okay, we'll run that. And we don't have any containers running. We're going to run it one slightly more different way. We're going to run a docker ps with a dash a, which is going to give us all of the com uh, containers that have ever been run in this machine. It turns out there aren't any, but sometimes when you don't have running containers, you may forget uh, I think I need to go find the rest of those containers, so that's the ps-a command. So now we're ready to get going and start doing data science.